A New England island paradise just a ferry ride away, 30 miles south of Cape Cod, where millionaires come to play. There once was a man from Nantucket who defies danger, just a drop in the bucket. A native of Burlington, Connecticut, there's no one quite like this guy, Elliot. Get my shark muscles going. Wait a minute, what? Shark muscles? We just call the sharks on, uh, on the shell phone just to, uh, you know, let them know we're here. <laughs> this, uh... Wisconsin Beach is Elliot Sudal's spot. 100 pounds of bait. On the easternmost tip of the island, the water here is murky. That's a little sandy plateau where they come up on, but it drops pretty quickly off to 80 feet. Although sharks are off the beach, more dangerous are rip currents. Curious seals can also be a problem. They steal your bait. The bait. Fresh Nantucket bluefish. On a very large hook. That's a titanium hook. Rods custom rigged and reels spooled with a 100 pound test. Just a matter of time. Yeah! Shark on. Woo! Battle on. You guys came for a good one. <laughs> Let's keep moving with him because he's in the rip now. This is the biggest one we've had by far. <laughs> this is a monster. Oh, no! Lost him. Lost him. The one that got away. That is honestly a potential world record. Still plenty of fish in the sea. I threw it. No, he didn't. Oh, he's back. He's back. He's back. The toughest part is setting the hook, handing the rod off. It's a big one. We got to move with him. The shirt comes off. Stay tight, stay tight. When most get out of the water because of a shark, right there, we got in. Sudal gets in and grabs it by the tail. It's a real life shark ah, yeah. This is why the 25 year old is known by another name. He's a shark wrangler from Nantucket. Shark wrestler. Until this guy showed up like last year, never heard of shark wrangling on the beach. His intensity never tires. Fresh bait. Not even when he stops to talk. And I realized there were sharks here. Sorry. It's hard to it's hard to stare at that and like see it looks like <laughs> spider senses, man. Head always on a swivel. Yeah, raise on, he's on. Raise on. Oh yeah. Alright, I'm gonna freak out and run. Others reel them in. Sudal pulls them in. All right, we got him. Sandbar sharks or brown sharks are protected, so it's catch and release. But the best part about this release is these sharks are tagged. And Sudal started doing that this summer. Through the skin, twist it, and now it's in. It's in like a bar. Watch out, watch out, watch out, my crap. The tagging gave him a reason to actually do it. It wasn't just, oh, I'm going to come out here and catch sharks. It was, I'm going to come out here and tag sharks for research. Out of every 10, you get one back. If we're getting one back and we're making a difference, I think I'm really happy to be a part of that. 29 sharks caught, number 30 <laughs> is suddenly passed on, on to me. I'm feeling great. <laughs> you want to keep pressure, but not too much. When he runs, let him run. He's pulling hard, and I'm breathing hard. Elliot, isn't it about time you jump in the water and pull this thing out? <laughs> There he is. The release. It's a female. Let's get you back in there. You're feeling better, buddy. John's first shark. That's all that matters. On Nantucket, John Charlton. Got them shark muscles. Fox, Connecticut. <laughs> Ow. <laughs>